Uh, so she can't even see the Batman symbol. What's up, ninjas and ninjets? Welcome to the infectious madness of Dr. Decker. Now, I am so excited about this game. I can't even begin to tell you guys. Now, this is one of those video response games from what I, from what I watched. But you're supposed to be able to ask uh, like open-ended questions. So I'm, I'm very curious to, to get into this and see what it's like. So please do enjoy and uh, give me a chance here to let's see what I can do, right? New game. The faculty thinks I've gone loopy, like some kind of spongy Mobius strip. <laughs> Why I'm here. Isn't it, Dr. Decker? I can see people's dreams. Can I've, you? Uh, set that's, up an that's impressive. My dad is trying to hurt me. Quantum suicide. Have you heard of it? If I constantly. Quantum hurt, suicide. And I know when the person's going to be asleep, I can have the dream with them. That's well, creepy. Let's call him God. He creates this world for his amusement. Something he can play with and occasionally alter to suit his mood. It feels like the paintings are watching me. <laughs> Sometimes when I walk through uh, a door, this is, I think I may be a bit off a little more than I can chew. Somewhere else. God, I have no training as a psychiatrist. <laughs> Man and woman involved. What was once chaotic becomes well, more ordered. Starts as a door-to-door -door saleswoman. Double blazing, probably. Oh, wow. Dr. Decker. I think we both know what you dreamed about last night. I've seen it still changing through the window. <laughs> because she thinks I'm evil. Stop being evil. I can see things other people can't. On the basis, the central component of our universe is chaos. Science can only document a perception of the chaos at any one given moment in time. I did what you said, Doctor. How do you deal with something like that? Like whenever you're talking to they somebody like me. Which means that <laughs> at any given moment, we can choose to alter our perception of the world. Oh man. No matter how much chaos that would cause. I thought you were supposed to fix me. I'm telling you, it's, it's a process, people. dude. And you're just laughing. You're insane, Doctor. Maybe. Listen For to me. You're not listening. It's your only bloody job. All right. So, I don't know if that was previous patient files. <laughs> Dr. Decker has some strange yeah, clients. You're late. And after all those promises, never mind, Doctor. let's not keep the pace. You're late. And after all those Doctor. promises. You're late. Doctor. You're and late. After all those, and after all those promises, never mind. Yes, but I'm here now. Do you want your session or not? Act one, who are you? Oh. Doctor, you're late. And after all those promises, mm, never mind. Let's not keep the patients waiting. And if you want anything, just... Oh. Sorry, I forgot. <laughs> I'm not going to be here. The police still have some questions they want to ask about, you know. And then after that, I'm dropping in to see Ben. He's still in shock, and I thought we'd show we care. Okay. We do still care, don't we, Doctor? Of course, sure. Anyway, I hope you all <laughs> caught up on Dr. Decker's tapes. I think uh, Mariana nope. is in first, but I'm sure they'll all become a blur by the end of the day. I'll see you later. Or tomorrow. Uh, probably tomorrow. I'll leave it to you then. Uh, bye, random assistant. Okay. Okay. Nathan, Mariana. Am I selecting who I'm going to talk to? Ellen, or Elin. Claire, Bryce. I want to talk to the crazy guy that was talking about the the with the fist thing. 
Bryce, can you please have a seat? Nathan, how many patients do I have? <laughs> okay, okay. Bryce has got to be the, the, the one guy then. Oh, no. Okay. Um, I guess let's start with Nathan. What does he know about Dr. Decker's murder? I don't have any idea. Tell me about Decker, what's wrong with you? Tell me about yourself. I'm Nathan Peel. I'm a supermarket worker from, well, hell, really. Well, a supermarket in hell, huh? Interesting. Uh, tell me about Decker. Dr. Decker was a complex man. I spent a lot of time with him. He won't remember it that way. What the hell does that mean? Why wouldn't Decker remember it that way? As far as Dr. Decker was concerned, we had Monday, then moved on to Tuesday. But me, I had Monday five, ten, fifty times before I got to Tuesday. Oh, I actually heard a creepypasta about somebody that was doing that um, over on YouTube where they repeated the same day multiple, multiple, multiple times before they were able to move on to the next day. It was only the last one that stuck, that that took. And like all of the bad times, uh, you know, uh, repeated the most. Like he had to experience his grandma dying like, like 22 times or something before it finally moved on to the next day. It's like, oh, that's rough. Um, you live the same day. that Bill Murray film? Groundhog Day. To see if there's any clues. <laughs> to see if there's any clues. That's how bad it's gone. I'm looking for a cure in a Hollywood movie. <laughs> Can you help me, Doctor? Um. Probably not. Uh. Why was Doctor Decker a complex? That Doctor Decker was going through. Let's just say you might look back on your life and think. There's nothing you would have done differently. So this is no the first time that we've him, had... In the end. Like, he couldn't decide what to do with himself. That would be an interesting take on on everything. Um, yes, I will try to help. I don't know how, but thank you, Doctor. This, this is our first time around, and I trust you. All right. You're going to let us know, let me know when it's not, right? <laughs> Uh, what do you Dr. know about Dr. the murder? murder was sudden. Brutal. It's terrible. The doctor. Two weeks. Two weeks I had of rolling days. No do-overs. No Monday, Monday, Monday. I wouldn't kill anyone, though. I'd have to keep doing it, wouldn't I? A few things seem to move me forward. Uh... Why could he was like a kid in a sweet shop. He had so many options. He didn't know what to do. Oh, this is going to be a fun game. Suppose if you take too long picking, all your options run all right, away. All right, so the the control is not like I originally thought. So that's that's interesting. Why is that guy a star? Doctor Decker's murder was sudden. Oh, Bruce. I can go back and review it. It's terrible. The doctor. Two weeks. Two weeks I had of rolling days. No do-overs. No Monday, Monday, Monday. I wouldn't kill anyone, though. I'd have to keep doing it, wouldn't I? Few things seem to move me forward. Hmm. What's wrong Some with you? montages you get in movies. Time passes, you wake up, shave, if you feel like it, shower, get dressed. What's the point? You get this day over and over. Nothing changes. You say Dr. Decker changes. Am I in purgatory, Doctor? Purgatory, eee, probably not as much. Why does Sometimes nothing change? It looks different. Sometimes the bird song will change, or, or the weather will be less bleak. That's interesting. That person who nodded at you yesterday doesn't, doesn't do it today. But it doesn't usually change. You need a tragic event to change. Like a murder. How many times were you... 
Now see, why can't... Like, what tries to convince a good one? But it's like, how many times were you repeating that same day before Dr. Decker's murder? Because he said he had 12, 12 rolling days. Was that before or after? Like, I want to ask specific questions. I didn't see the driver. It was my fault. I pulled out, and the lorry just rammed me. The lorry? Well, Hannah. She was sat next to me. I was in shock, obviously. When I came to, she was so close to me. Oh, this is such a weird game. Me. But it wasn't right. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I'm actually really excited about all this. Metal pushing through. Oof, that, that sounds five brutal. Years five years ago for you or five years ago in our time? Uh, who is Hannah? My fiance, my childhood sweetheart. We Fair met enough. in secondary school. She was head girl. I was the quiet one. She liked computer games, so I instantly fell for her. I proposed in Goldshire. She said she didn't date elves, so I leveled up to a human necromancer and asked again. <laughs> Sorry. It's Warcraft. She spent a lot of time on it. <laughs> oh, that's good. Okay. Uh, five years ago is a long time. Quite a while after the accident. Well, Hello there, the elusive phoenix. Friend. How you doing, my brother? I thought I was cured. It was only recently after meeting Dr. Decker that I had a strange deja vu. I'm exhausted. Doctor, is our time up? Not yet. Are you here because I'm of an accident? Already. This game is day, awesome, I phoenix. Make the same Hannah would still be alive. We'd probably have a family by now. I haven't had any relationships since then. That's that's rough. Why purgatory? Because I'm stuck between this day and the next. Most of the time, anyway. Uh. No, it doesn't work that way. I don't even need to ask that question. You mentioned Most a montage. Of my days a blur. I'm not sure if it's the sleeping tablets I'm on or just how I've learned to switch off. Fair enough. I'm on You're on sleeping tablets? Dr. Decker prescribed Ooh, them for me. Ooh, Tamazepam. See, I that's actually a, something I know. That's... Day. Oof. I didn't. That's rough. You played Warcraft with Tana. We played World of Warcraft a lot together. A lot? I guess it's not a cool thing to do anymore. But we had a lot of memories there. To be honest, it reminds me a lot of life I think World of Warcraft's still all right. The same thing over and over again. I've never been one as crazy for MMOs, but I mean, like... Why badger teeth? Rinse, repeat. Maybe I'm just grinding life. Ouch. Can you go back and hate no, safe, Anna? I can't move backwards any more than a day. I don't really seem to control it. It's generally always on. I have to try and <laughs> change something to move forward. That's rough, man. Like, like I, I don't believe this person. He's crazy. But that would be I'm rough if that was actually anymore. happening to you. And you'd have no way to convince... Market. Anyone. <laughs> bowls, you think heavy crates of fruit and veg is a place for people to buy, and doing that over and over again. My muscles don't seem to have grown much. I think that maybe I'm not aging. When the day resets, I just reset with it. I used to be a builder. A builder? You don't think you're Except, aging? Kidding. Just if you spent the whole day <laughs> at the gym and then repeat that day and not go, you'd have achieved nothing. Uh, perhaps you should ask someone else a question. I don't want to ask anybody else a question. Nathan's extremely interesting. Should follow this up. Definitely follow this up. Uh, I'll move to do or do it when done. Okay. Well, let's talk to Mariana. Hello. I'm Mariana. Are you feeling okay? I'm fine. How are you? Uh, why are you here? I think you're supposed to tell me what's wrong with me. Isn't that how it works? Typically, but you know, the I'm a new doctor here, so. Picking me up for public nudity. <laughs> uh, 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 yeah, 
Yeah, no, I'm not totally okay. You gotta love new patients, huh? Don't worry, we don't bite. <laughs> well, most of us. Interesting. Uh, why have they picked you up for public I nudity? Black out. And then the next thing I remember, I'm naked on the beach. Like you I really like getting naked on the beach, up, huh? I'm sure. Nobody's pressed charges yet, but I can feel it. The police are getting suspicious. <laughs> uh, tell me about the beach. Shalom, hello, hello there, Chaotic Melody. The this so is an extremely home. weird and I interesting game to me. A lot of time at the beach. It's just way more relaxing than anywhere else. You should come with me one day. I can show you all the sights. Um, all the sights, huh? No thanks. I do suffer from blackouts, which is strange as I can hold my breath for a really long time. But I'm not swimming before I black out. Dr. Decker thought it was anxiety originally. Then he worked it out. You're just crazy. He eventually decided it wasn't anxiety, but I'm not going to tell you his final diagnosis. I just want to you ask what I walked into, but I decided I wasn't going to ask. <laughs> All right, so the doctor who I replaced um, was murdered, and I'm trying to figure out which one of his patients did it. But So I have to ask all of his different patients questions. Do you know anything about the well, murder? that's why you're here, isn't it? You've replaced him. He was a good listener. I hope you are. Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, why was he a good listener? Dr. Decker could really get inside you. It was, uh... That sounds, uh... Unsettling. But you let him do it. <laughs> part of the process, I guess. That sounds a little, uh, like a sexual un undertone there. Uh, do you suffer with anxiety? Dr. Let's Decker just ask. thought I had generalized anxiety disorder. GAD because of the black. That sentence can be taken several different ways. Badly. Yes, thank you, thank you. <laughs> I'm breathing badly. It uh no. You can check my breathing if you want. Do you want me to lie down? Can you tell just by looking at me? I'm not worried about it, just if you are. She um I don't know. <laughs> she makes me uncomfortable. I want to stop having the blackouts. She makes me very uncomfortable. I want to stop waking up at the beach. Quit going to sleep I want to at the beach. Those entire evenings. You suggest anything that might help? Yeah, stop stop with the drugs, lady. Uh I'm not sure holding my breath too long is causing blackouts. I mean, it could, but I don't remember ever having a blackout when I'm holding my breath. The whole thing about the blackout is you don't remember anything. But drugs are fun, Dave. <laughs> okay, they might be fun for some people there, Shay, but they're not fun for this lady. This lady's creepy. Can you have someone watch Will you when you black out? Will you watch me to see what happens? Uh, sure. At least then we'll know what the hell's going on. So, it's a date then. I'll let you know when. Wait. How, you can time it? <laughs> if you can time it, just chain yourself to the fucking bed when you're going to do it. No more problems. I film myself doing, um, lots of things. It's not so easy to do when you're blacked out. She wants the D. <laughs> I normally black out when I'm dancing. I like dancing. Do you like dancing? Not really, no. Although I have learned to do some like ballroom dancing. Ballroom dancing. Just so you, I can show you guys that I, I, you know, I actually, when I was engaged, I actually learned to do it. So. It's one step forward, one step there, uh-huh, uh-huh. And then, you can, of course, you can start getting all fancy with it and shit. Yeah, look at that. All right. <laughs> so, having learned that stuff,
stuff when I was engaged and that fell through, so. Uh, no, I don't like dancing. That's good for me in so many ways. Just turn the music up, close your eyes, and let yourself go. You need to stop you letting yourself on. go. Uh... You think my dancing causes my blackouts? No, I know it's the last thing I remember, but I don't think it's that. Sometimes I remember more, but... I'm tired now. <laughs> you did ballet Playing when you were younger, but as far as uh, group or dual dancing, I've never danced. Ah! I dance a lot at nightclubs. I know most of the nightclubs around here. My favorite is the Pearl because they sell cheap vodka shots all night. Oh, so yeah, you're getting fucking drunk. I just keep just stabbing at randomness here. I don't drink. Then why do you care that they serve vodka shots all night? Ow. She's a pole dancer. <laughs> uh... Why do you hold your breath so much? I hold my breath when I'm swimming underwater. Most people do. Sometimes, if I'm really excited, I'll hold my breath accidentally. Just for a few seconds. I don't know why. There's something about the way, like the actors that they got for this, like, like she, the other guy didn't creep me out. I felt kind of bad for him. She creeps me out. I don't know what it is. Uh, I I've you. been a patient here for three months. Today is my patient's birthday. Do I get a cake or something? Yeah, I'm afraid. Uh, I'm afraid that you were right there, Melody. I think she totally wants the D. Uh, no, you don't get cake. That's okay. I wasn't really expecting one. <laughs> Ah, oh, fuck. Are you flirting wow. with me? Let's get straight to it, then. I'm not sure I feel comfortable speaking with you about that at the moment. Well, let's just cut straight through the bullshit. Jeez, like... <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, I don't know how to... Uh, asphyxiation? Yeah, that, that, that word. She likes... Uh, yeah, well, that's, that's where you're being choked out. Uh, do you ever find your clothes after I the blackout? I never find my clothes. I don't know why I'm naked. Because you're getting fucking uh, roofied in your damn drinks because you're a fucking drunk. When I wake up, my hair is dry, but it's pretty hot at the moment. I get baked quickly by the sun. It's possible I've been in the sea during my blackout. Why do you keep going to the beach? the beach? Until somebody tells me it's going to kill me, I'll keep going. Have you ever been addicted to something, Doctor? Not like you. <laughs> uh, no, I've never been addicted. That's a shame. You need to have a passion for something, Doctor. I do have a passion for a lot of things. That doesn't necessarily mean that they're addictions. Tell me Dr. about Decker. Decker was fine. He had good relationships with his patients, as far as I know. Where are her shoes? I sure have I no idea. Maybe because he was fucking his patients. Uh, how does this all make I you feel? I'm not listening. Up. I guess people see me and call the police. But someone will take the There's a naked woman on the beach! And I'll be charged with indecent exposure. All right, let's move on from... Who are you? Okay, I'm 25 and I'm a nurse. God, I sound like I'm on one of those dating shows. <laughs> what type of nurse are you? I work in a nursing home for the elderly. I basically do end of life care. Ah, okay. All right. Uh, I got a note that Terry called. Uh, first, what problem are you here for? I started for? seeing Dr. Decker a few months ago. 
For what? I thought it would be nice to have someone I could talk to about work. It can get a bit stressful sometimes. Understandably. Like, I, I wanna... Terry's one of the other nurses at the home. I don't think she likes me very much. Is she a bitch? Is that what the problem is here? <laughs> End of life care! Uh, the usual things. That's what I would Making assume. Making sure the patients are comfortable. Making sure You're not one of those uh, nurses that goes around and, and ends life, Keep though, are you? <laughs> Some of them get pretty frightened about what's coming. Well, those of them that aren't out of it on meds. <laughs> I comfort them. And how do you comfort them? I don't like it when patients are heavily sedated. Especially when there are alternatives, like herbal remedies. Oh, I mean, you're one of those Imagine nurses. if you only had a few days or weeks left to live. Would you want to spend it asleep? Depends. I mean... Uh... Why does it get stressful it sometimes? Sad sometimes. I don't like losing a patient. But that's the You're dealing with end of life care. It, it kind of is part of the package here, lady. Death is frightening, isn't it? Isn't it what everyone's afraid of? The great unknown. Uh, not so much. No one All right there, Melody. I'll alone. see you when you get back. You mentioned dating. I'm not really looking for love at the moment. I'm sort of married to my work, but in a good way. In a good way, really. Uh, can I check the, can I check notes? Sorry for writing in your notes. Say hello to Lean for me and let her know uh, Terry called for her. Uh, Mariana's been through a lot. Wonder how all this makes her feel. Perhaps Mariana should stop going to the beach. Oh. Okay, okay. Okay. Uh, you mentioned about herbal remedies. I'm a qualified remedies. herbalist. An so herbalist? Laugh. Most people think herbalism is a joke. I've never heard of an well, herbalist. I'd much rather help my patients sleep at night with valerian or passion flower than lorazepam, tamazepam, or zolpidem. Tamazepam. Like, isn't that what they give you in Metal Gear Solid whenever you're doing the sniping thing so that you, you, you calm down and you're able to hold the gun steady? Pretty sure. Are you... Tell me about that. I've known a lot of doctors over the years. I bet you have. Most you had nurse. arrogant idiots who think nurses are just there to do their bidding <laughs> or worse. Dr. Decker was different. He had a lot of time for me. He was interested in my problems. What kind of problems do you have? I wish they'd quit fading out. Like that's the. Uh, are it's you not the job that stresses me. It's the people I work with, the other nurses. They're mean to me. Mean in what way? They call me the angel of death because so many patients have died on my shift. Oh, so you are one of those insane ladies that, that goes around Obviously, and kills people. it's not my fault. It just seems to happen that way. That's unfortunate. How many patients? Mm, three last month. Three the month before that, I think. But only one so far this month, so that's good. Although, one of my patients, Hilda, I don't think she's got long. Did you he like Decker? Yeah, I liked him. But then I like most people. Alright, I think she's crazy, but not like crazy like the other girl. Um, the she's the other the woman is way, wants. way crazy. Always swearing and spitting at me. Never got anything nice to say. Thinks we're going to smother her in her sleep or something. She doesn't bother me though. It's funny. I think you're going to do that again. Uh, yes, I'd like to sleep through it. I'd want to see every sunrise and every sunset. I'd want to feel every breath. Everything gets more vivid near death. Uh, 
How long have you been seeing Dr. Decker? Uh, I've been seeing him for about nine months, I think. All right. I think it's terrible what happened to him. So awful. No one deserves to die like that. Ah, uh, God, she really makes me nervous too. Who are you? My name is Claire Castleford, and as I'm paying a small fortune for these sessions, I'd expect you to be up to speed, Doctor. <laughs> You're a bitch. Tell me about that. The shocking thing about Dr. Decker's death is that it didn't bring it upon himself. But then I hadn't known him for a very long time. Perhaps I was wrong about him. Though the fact that he drank so much is a good indicator of his mental state. He drank a lot, did he? I thought it was common knowledge that he drank. You could smell it on his breath when he got close I to didn't him. know Decker. I just got he here. He kept a bottle in his drawer. Such a cliché. Why are you paying a small fortune? Which has perks, but honestly, I would give it all up in a heartbeat if it could free me from this madness. What madness would that be? Well, according to your predecessor, I'm a delusional psychotic with obsessive tendencies. Ah! Oh, and a history of violence. <laughs> Sounds so cold when you put it like that, though, doesn't it? Yeah, you're just a fun bag of tricks, aren't you? Uh, what history to of violence? Fair, there was only one violent outburst that hardly qualifies as a history of violence. And he provoked me. Tell I me about the violence. Stabbed violent... him with a steak knife. Good God, woman! Shocking, isn't it? You don't just go around stabbing. Why did you stab him? Of temporary insanity. I don't think it's temporary. Or temporary clarity, I'm not really sure which. David had been having an affair with his assistant optician, Iris. How predictable. Not just the affair, but an optician named Iris. I wouldn't say it's necessarily, uh... Tell me about your delusions. As in, seeing things that are not there. I'm not gonna be any more specific. It's not true in any case. I'm not delusional. I'm not delusional. Ah! <laughs> Sorry, giant spider behind you. I'm, I'm okay now. My husband. It's absurd, really. Why is it is absurd? Dead. And he shouldn't be. I don't know about this, Claire. We're the only he two died. in the room. He almost died. Did he die? My husband is not a well man. We've been having Did you stab him with a steak knife? <laughs> His health, if we can call it that, has been deteriorating rapidly in the last few weeks. I can't cope with caring for him anymore. Oh, it's funny, actually I know a nurse. Be happy to take care of that problem for you. David has trouble looking after himself. So you did Sometimes stab David. I'll leave the lake house and he's just sitting in the rocking chair on the porch. And when I return the next evening, he's still there, just staring into the stars. He needs help, I know, but I can't hire anybody to care for him. I have so many questions about that. David's staying at the lake house. It belonged to my parents, but I don't use it much anymore. I have the main house to myself. Since our altercation, he's become less and less active. Did you sever his spinal his cord? Less and less active too. Such a delightful conversationalist at one time. Now more of an enigmatic husk. What? I tried to hurt David once. When you That's stabbed him? It. I'm not proud of my behavior, but I'm pretty sure she stabbed her husband it. and killed him matter, though, and is now pushing around his dead body in like a chair. <laughs> She's insane. Absolutely insane. Yeah, I agree. I agree. The little red down need there. To get angry. Ever. If you're angry and not in control, isn't that right? And it will be very bad for me to lose control. Why is it Let's bad? Let's save that for control? another time, shall we? 
I'm rich, but I'm not made of money, and I'm fairly sure my time is up. Uh, do you think Decker was... just had that look about him. You know what they say about us crazy. Take one to no one. Great. The police seem to think I'm dangerous. I'm only sitting here talking to you because I have a lot of money. Otherwise, there's no doubt I'd be thrown into prison for a very long time. That's why I need your help, Doctor. Because you're a crazy psycho bitch? Oh, hey! Why aren't I you in prison? I what I did. There are people that might think I belonged in prison. What do you think, Doctor? Can I, I be saved with therapy? <laughs> or should I be locked up like a dangerous criminal? Uh... Well, obviously I'm supposed to be a psychiatrist here, so you can be saved with therapy, Claire. You have a lot of faith in your abilities. That's good. I look forward to being completely cured. Yeah, sure. Just let me go grab a hammer. I'll, you just got a few dinks I have to, to knock back into place. I assume they think I'm dangerous because I stabbed my husband. How many times did you stab him? Keep up, Doctor. David is my husband. It's the only question I had left to ask. Okay, Bryce, what's your Originally, problem? I was suffering with depression. Work was piling up. I, I kept missing deadlines. I wasn't used to all the failure. I got depressed. What do you think of Dr. Decker? I didn't Decker? really like Dr. Decker. And for quite a few reasons, actually. You seem I'd nervous. I'd talk about my own problems for now, though, if you don't mind. Sure. Who are you? I'm Bryce Hemmings. Hi, Bryce! You must be the new doctor. I am the new Do doctor. You know Dr. Dr. Kajaro, nice to meet you. I did not know Decker. He was an antagonistic psycho. An antagonistic so psycho, you're not all right. the same school of thought. Not typically. Why didn't you like Decker? Decker would say one thing and do another. He would push me to do things I didn't want to do. He was getting worse towards the end. I'm surprised he didn't kill himself. Well, you're the first guy who I've actually thought was, uh, could have been part of that. Uh, why were it's you depressed? Being a grave digger had its perks, but it can be very stressful. You're a grave digger, a profession. There's a profession. trend going towards okay. burial rather than cremation again. And as well as running out of space, we're running out of competent grave diggers. At least ones that can use a shovel, that is. I'm not feeling anywhere near as depressed as I used to, though. Not okay. since I got the extra hour. He clearly uh, used narcotics. <laughs> Hello there, Arkleon. How you doing today? What extra hour? At midnight each day. Time as you know it freezes. In my world, it just slows down to almost a stop. But I don't. I'm free to wander around and do as I please. An hour later, normal reality continues. It's my very own midnight hour. Yeah, th uh, this guy's insane. What do you do in the in extra, the extra hour? hour? I mainly catch up with work. It's a godsend. Sometimes I play chess against myself. It relaxes and strengthens the mind all at once. You heat is torturing me? What heat? Uh, I'm not sure what you mean by heat, sir. <laughs> Why is it hard to find someone who can Any use a church shovel? The church where I work is located on an old Norman Mott and Bailey. You can't use mechanical I don't know what a Mott and Bailey is. There in case you destroy a relic. Uh, okay. That's some historical. What sort of relic? Ah, uh, it's... Yeah, and the heat is killing me. Okay, okay. Yeah, it is not summer here. It is winter here. It, uh... It's not snowing right now, but it's supposed to be snowing at some point today. What sort of relics? I stumbled across a relic myself. An ancient chess piece. A queen, I believe. Do you have the it with you? The best chess piece. The most freedom of movement. But they took it away immediately and proclaimed the whole east side of Henley Church a protected site of archaeological importance, which means we're not allowed to use it until the archaeologists have finished. I wish I hadn't told anyone. 
What did you mean by it's midnight? It's a bizarre thing to know you have an extra hour every day. I rarely ever sleep until after midnight now, so I can appreciate the extra time. I get a lot of work done in that time. I'm completely caught up. The depression is no longer an issue. 25 hours is a blessing for me. But apparently, it's not real, and I'm insane for thinking it is. <laughs> what do you think, Doctor? Uh, tell me about Henley Church. Church is relatively small. <laughs> well, for the number of bodies they expect us to pack into the ground, it's relatively small. The whole building was once owned by Scientologists. But they handed oh, well. it back to the community as a tax break, I believe. Or they'd finished doing whatever it was they wanted to do with it. Really? Uh, do you believe in Scientology? Because, it, I mean, like, he, the beliefs that he... I know a little bit about Scientology. The beliefs that he's stated thus far have not been Scientology. But his extra hour a day... <laughs> I'm not sure I believe in any religion anymore. I used to believe in God. Not anymore. There are too many religions to pick from, don't you think? Eh, not really. I mean, yeah, there are too then many, we agree. but... Have you watched Zeitgeist, Doctor? Unfortunately. Some of it is believable, and the part about most religions stemming from the same basic facts... It's more likely they've all got it wrong, than one of them has got it right. Well, Zeitgeist is a lot of poppycock. Uh, what is your I'm job? I'm a grave digger, Doctor. I kind of piece that and together. people are dying quicker than we can bury them. Did you have to get all, like, into it and, like, do the whole poppy thing? I thought it would be too early to make a diagnosis. But it's good you're having a go anyway. <laughs> do you like chess? I like chess. I still play sometimes when I can find an opponent. You should bring in a chessboard. There's nothing more satisfying than planning scores of moves in advance and then watching things unfold as you saw them. I shouldn't have told anyone about the queen. This guy is nuts, and I love it. This entire uh, game is is crazy and awesome. Why do you like planning moves in advance? I do like advance? to be in control, but then I suppose most people do. Not in the control the way that you're talking. Carry them along helplessly. Everyone wants to kick against it and make their own way. Do you like to be in control? Doesn't do a whole lot of good to kick against the pricks. Uh, do you know anything about Decker's yes. murder? Doctor Decker was murdered. Kel surprise. Murder does seem a bit harsh, doesn't it? And another grave to dig. I know as much about it as you do. <laughs> Less, I would imagine. Mayhaps. Uh, uh, I don't believe that you are so much are in control, though. So, I mean, like... Yeah, I like to be in control to the, to the extent that I can be, but at the same time... No, I, you know, I, I try to react the best that I can with the information I have at the time. Dr. Decker was very controlling. But he unraveled at the end. Watch out for that, Doctor. How did Dr. Decker unravel? He didn't keep control of everything, of everyone. He just set us up like dominoes, but we all toppled in unexpected ways. You'll find it all out in time, Doctor. Just not today. Can't have your head exploding, can we? Yeah, Bryce. You, uh, you creep me out. Um, alright, that's everybody. Uh, Martin Bailey. Uh, triangle? Oh, I can enter a question! Oh... How many times have you repeated, repeated, 
Dr. Decker's death. Sorry, got nothing. Aww. Is it too long of a question? Uh, Battle Dave, how you doing? This game is the the infectious madness of Dr. Decker. So Dr. Decker was a psychiatrist to these people before I got here. And now I'm supposed to be trying to ask them questions to, uh, to figure out who killed him. And I can apparently ask any question that I want to. So, um, how long have you suffered with this? Well, I don't know. Uh, this looks dark. I love oh man, I am very much enjoying it. I don't know how to ask this guy. You don't think you're aging? Seven. Kidding. Just if you spent the whole day at the gym and then repeat that day and not go, you'd have achieved nothing. How many days have you repeated? Oh, no. Sorry. That was my bad. I pressed enter because I can't spell very good. How many days have many day? What is up with this keyboard? D A Y S. Have you repeated? Repeated. There we go. I don't have an answer to that question. As always. Ah! Is it on Steam or PlayStation? This is on PlayStation? I'm assuming it'd be on Steam as well. Okay, uh, let's go talk to Mariana and ask her if she sustains any injuries, because at least that's that gives us a, an inkling. Have you had any injuries? No, nothing like that. I usually wake up on my side like I've been sleeping. Sometimes now, she I goes wakes up naked at the beach. That's her special sea. thing. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. So, so I need to use the notes. Yes, yeah, so let's let's ask the typical question. How does this make you feel? Like you're not listening. Hmm. What other notes do I have? Uh... Ah, that's actually not a bad question either. Do you remember anything during the blackouts? Do you remember anything during the blackouts. There's only one T in blackouts. By blackout, I mean I don't really remember anything from the time I black out. I'm lucky to be alive, I guess. Huh. Quite the unique ability. <laughs> well, uh, all right. Uh, here, let me go. Go back. Uh, I can so. There's a star next to that one. So, do, 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 do. Where did it go? All right, here we are. I black out. And then the next thing I remember, I'm naked on the beach. See? Like I've been 
It is on Steam, and now it's on my wish list. Awesome! Dude, this game, like, I am very much enjoying it. it it's, it's so weird and different, but I'm very much enjoying it. No, nothing like that. I usually wake up on my side, like I've been sleeping. Could you Sometimes have been drugged? I'm What's up with the Cthulhu necklace? Covered by oh, dude, it is. It's so weird, but it's also so good. Seaweed. I don't know. Oh, that's, that's frustrating. Okay, okay. So I'm supposed to ask something else about injuries. No, nothing like that. I usually wake up on my side like I've been sleeping. Sometimes I'm partially covered by seaweed. Do you wake up near... The shore? When I wake up on the beach, I normally feel refreshed, which is weird, right? I'm not scared. Not yet. I just want to so, know what's going on. Alright, so that at least was a question that was closer. Oh! Okay. That's cool. It actually adds my, my questions there. Is your hair wet when you wake when up? When I wake up, my hair is dry, but it's pretty hot at the moment. I get baked quickly by the sun. It's possible I've been in the sea during my blackout. She worships octopi, it's just face she's going through. <laughs> All right, so, um... Damn my fucking typing. When? Do you usually, usually wake up, wake up after, I'm typing on a Bluetooth keyboard, so that might be why too, after the blackout, like what time? I do suffer from blackouts, which is strange as I can hold my breath for a really long time. But I'm not swimming before I black out. Dr. Decker thought it was anxiety originally. Then he worked it out. Do you think? Think you were drugged? I don't have an answer for that. Ah. All right, let's go talk to somebody else for a minute. Um, Eileen. So what? Uh, why, Angel of Death? Not angel off death, angel of death. They're old. People die when they're old. I mean, medically speaking, it's heart failure or organ failure or pneumonia. They're all natural causes though. Could a herb cause heart failure? Because she's an herbalist. Traditional medicine makes patients worse sometimes, don't you think? You must see it all the time, doctor. You take one pill, then have to take five other pills to deal with the side effects. Herbs are kinder. Obviously, you have to be careful, just like with everything. 
Oh. Getting the wrong combination can be deadly. I like this I game. See, that's the part that makes me nervous. <laughs> Who is... Oh, you're the rich lady. I don't know what else to ask you. Did David survive the attack? Keep up, Doctor. David is my husband. I am well aware of that. Hello, Viridian Prime! I see that you got me on mute. I still wanted to say hi. You can't put headphones in while charging? Headphones in while charging. Oh! <laughs> That's unfortunate. Okay, okay. I see. Um, alright. This is the Gravedigger guy. What should I... What else do I need to ask him about? Tell me more about your beliefs. Tell... Ah. Tell me more about... beliefs is that something I should know about yes typically mm. all right so Scientology why is it hard to find someone who can use Henry a shovel? church where I work is located on an old Norman Mott and Bailey you can't use mechanical diggers or excavators there in case you destroy a relic. Mott and Bailey question mark? Allegedly, Henley ah. Church is located on an old Norman Mott and Bailey castle. Oh, I say okay. Because a relic was found and dated around that century. The archaeologist. Yeah, I think I'm going back. My husband and I are going to have to figure out uh, something other than iMessage. Oh, the Android for life. I have an Android now. I actually prefer the iPhone, to be completely honest. Why doesn't he believe in God anymore? Oh, I've got hints! Oh, okay. Why don't. Not. Why don't you believe in God anymore? I'm not sure God would have given a man an extra hour a day. Not just a single man. He didn't. You're My crazy. My extra hour is a gift. But sometimes it's a curse. Hmm... Why would it be a curse? I sound like I'm complaining, don't I? <laughs> I'll stop now. <laughs> I don't like that answer. Oh, this game is so weird. What else do we have here? Why didn't he like Decker? He would say one thing and do another. He would push me to do things I didn't want to do. He was getting worse towards the end. I'm surprised he didn't kill himself. Why do you think Decker would kill himself? He wasn't a good man. Oh, oh God, this game's so interesting. Himself. I'm really that enjoying it. Ah! <laughs> it's so very different and weird. 
All right, what extra hour? At midnight each day, time as you know it freezes. In my world, it just slows down to almost a stop. But I don't. I'm free to wander around and do as I please. An hour later, normal reality continues. It's my very own midnight hour. All right, I need to I need to look at that one more time, and I'm sorry, uh, but it's at midnight each day. Time as you know. See, in your time. world, okay. In your world. No, sorry. <clears throat> ah. Time freezes. In the hour, people are <coughs> They don't move, but I can move them. As soon as my hour is up, they start moving again, as if nothing has changed at all. That's weird. Do you move others often I don't have anything for you that's not the question you want me to ask in the hour people are pliable they don't move but I can move them oh this as is soon so as my weird. hour is up they start moving again as if nothing has changed at all this is such a Send me all the rum. Hello there, Travin. How you doing, my friend? Uh, what did Dr. Decker push him to do? What did Dr. Decker push you to do? I know you're asking questions to try and get a bearing. But I'd rather not talk about that now. Let's just enjoy the getting to know you phase before the ugliness kicks in. This guy worries me. Um, what other questions do I have here? Why were you depressed? Being a grave digger had its perks, but it can be very stressful. There's a trend going towards burial rather than cremation again. And as well as running out Grave of space, Digger has we're running out of Travis Dollars number 476. I'm not lazy. I'm in energy savings mode. <laughs> I'm not feeling anywhere near as depressed as I used to, though. Not since I got the extra hour. Ah. When did you get the extra hour? At midnight each day. Time is you ah, know, You said it like like it was something that you acquired, not not that. Perks. I don't know. Ah, I think. Okay. What else can I ask you? Why did you say he was from hell? Fair enough. Why did you say you... God, fucking keyboard. You were from hell. Yeah, except for I need... Why did you say... You were from hell. I imagine what I'm experiencing now might be a type of hell. Not everyone burns in flames with the devil on their back. I'm hoping you can make sense of my problem. Uh, okay. Why are you grinding? I'm not really fit for work anymore. I work in produce at the local supermarket. That mainly involves lifting heavy crates of fruit and veg into place for people to buy, and doing that over and over again. My muscles don't seem to have grown much. I think that maybe I'm not aging. When the day resets, I just reset with it. 
I used to be a builder. What did you use to build? I used to be a builder, contractor. Ah. I had to quit. It's hard watching a house get built only to start all over again the next day. I needed something less obvious. <laughs> I'm back, had a few uh, works to do. Hey, no problem. Hey, thank you so much, Pixelated Smile. I certainly appreciate that follow. It is highly appreciated. What else do I need to ask this guy? I was fine for quite a while after the accident. Well, being treated for depression. I thought I was cured. It was only recently after meeting Dr. Decker that I had a strange deja vu. Strange deja vu for someone who Dr. repeats every day. No. No, it is not. Ah, what else can move? Okay. What else can move you forward? This is such a weird and awesome concept for forward, a game. I really have to see something that feels like it can't be rewound, like a death or some other tragedy. It's not enough to hear it or read it. I've, I've got to see it. I suppose from that point of view, it looks like I'm in control of things. Oh, that's weird. All right, I'm still not done asking that. Uh... I'm not sure how to ask the question. Shit. Um... I was fine for quite a while after the accident. Well, being treated for depression. I thought I... About your depression. I do suffer from depression, but it's not very surprising, is it? I mean, I your wife, your, your girlfriend too, died and... Overwhelming times. I don't really get that anymore. I've just learned to accept that this is my life now. Oh, this is such a... I, I like Nathan. He, I don't think he's the murderer, okay? I may be wrong here, because I, I have nothing about this game. But here, here, for everybody who just came in... I'm Nathan Peel. I'm a supermarket worker from, well, hell, really. Oh, you didn't tell me about your, uh, hold on. Ah, here we go. What's wrong with you? It's like those montages you get in movies. Time passes, you wake up, <laughs> shave, if you feel like it, shower, get dressed. What's the point? You get this day over and over, nothing changes. Am I in purgatory, Doctor? Oh, that's not the right one either. All right, so this guy thinks that he's living the exact same day over and over and over again. Um, do, 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 do. I watched that Bill Murray film, Groundhog Day. To see it, if there's any clues. It's so weird. But it's like, I watched a creepypasta clues. about something That's like this. I'm looking for a cure in a Hollywood movie. <laughs> can you help me, Doctor? Anyways, I don't think I can do anything for Nathan. Um, I want to ask her more questions. Ah, here. Does she swim in the sea? Do you swim in the sea? There's more than one question there. Break it down for me. What? <laughs> Electroshock therapy. <laughs> 
Maybe he should stop buying the same colored shirt and pants and he can tell Dave's apart. Oh, Dave. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. That's cruel, Dave. Oh, my God. All right. Where do you swim? I'm a great swimmer. I won all these medals at school. I can hold my breath a really long time. You keep talking about the fact you can hold your breath. Really? Deep. God. This girl. Is your hair wet when you wake up? My hair is dry, but it's pretty hot at the moment. I get baked <clears throat> quickly by the sun. It's possible I've been in the sea during my blackout. In the sea. Under the sea! Under the sea. Sometimes I go swimming in the sea. I don't always black out. Uh, where do you dance? I dance a lot at nightclubs. I know most of the nightclubs around here. My favorite is the Pearl because they sell cheap vodka shots all night. Cheap vodka shots. Now, she see, the only reason I'm asking about the vodka shots is because she says she doesn't drink. So, she's buying shots for someone, then. I don't drink. See? Ah. Oh. oh, okay. You want to know about the pearl? The pearl? Question mark? The pearl is great because the people are so relaxed. I think that's got a lot to do with. I don't intend to be cruel, just problem solving. Well, I mean, the guy thinks he's reliving the same day over and over again. I mean, that's it's got to be that's got to be into something. Oh. Other. Other. There we go. Clubs. Nope. Don't know. Mm. Fuck. The, I wish I was better at thinking of questions to ask. I want to stop having the blackouts. Quit drinking. <laughs> I want to stop waking up at the beach. I want to remember those entire evenings. You suggest anything that might help? My dear Watson, I believe that's a clue. <laughs> Excellent smile. Thank you so much for the host. Battle Dave, also thank you for the host. This is, uh, is an office to learn to put on some damn shoes. <laughs> that's a good one. Do. You go to ah to the club alone. I'm not seeing anyone at the moment, if that's what you're asking. Why can't a girl go to a club on her own? I like dancing. I don't have many real friends, I suppose, but that's what happens when you move about a lot. Move about a lot? Okay. Why do you move a lot? Oh, this keyboard is going to drive me insane. I move around when I dance and geographically speaking. Geographically speaking is what I'm talking about, genius. Tell me about your friends. Like I said, I don't really know anyone around here. Mmm. 
This is so weird. Just call her out on cheap vodka if she doesn't drink. <laughs> Be like, bitch, you don't drink. Why do you see? I, I wish that I, I wish that it was a little more interactive because, like, I. That right there was my first thing whenever she first told me about, you know, I love going to this club for the cheap vodka, but it's like, why does that matter? I want to stop having the blackouts. I want to stop waking up. Why do you keep waking up at the beach? I work for myself. I make bracelets from things I find on the beach and sell them online. I spend a lot of time at the beach. It's just way more relaxing than anywhere else. You should come. Pixelated with smile coming in, taking a bow. You guys were trying to help her um, get to her affiliate. If you could, please drop over there. She likes the mermaids. <laughs> drop over to her channel and leave her a follow. I would certainly appreciate it. We want to help her out as much as we can. Ah, that's a good question. I remember her saying that. Which of Dr. Decker's patients bite? I think you're reading a bit too much into things. Be careful with that. Mm, I don't like All right, how exactly did she phrase that before? Uh... I black out. And then the next thing I remember, I'm naked on the beach. Like I've been washed up on shore. Nobody's pressed charges yet, but I can feel it. Uh -huh. Things are getting suspicious. Why are the police getting suspicious? Hey, thank you so much there, Battle Dave. I appreciate that. If she likes the beach and she's there all the time, why doesn't she like waking up there? <laughs> that's that's a good question, Pixelated Smile. That Twitter link is no longer uh, active, by the way. It's, it's Kajaro TTV, just like my, my new channel name here. Oh, boy. Why are they getting suspicious? God, I can't spell to save my life. Suspicious? I think they think I'm a naturist or something. <laughs> they picked me up five times in the last month. Five times? Ah. Oh. Can't she earn enough money selling things online? Do you earn enough selling online? It's early days. The business isn't doing that great, but I really enjoy my job if that helps. Not you really. You can make a lot of money or you can have a lot of fun, but you can't usually do both. Oh, okay. Uh, that's the crazy... That's the angel of death. I know you're asking questions to try and get a bearing, but I'd rather not talk about that now. Let's just enjoy the getting to know you phase before the ugliness kicks in. The ugliness. Doctor, pace yourself, please. This is my session. I'm paying. You have a free hour every day. I'm just trying to talk to you, be your friend here. Have you asked about the necklace? Uh, I don't think so. Your necklace. 
doesn't really mean anything to me. All right, uh, I want I want to go back to Bryce here for a minute because people are pliable. That's an odd word to use. All right, people are pliable. Isn't it obvious? I've tried moving them, of course. People are often frozen in the most inconvenient of positions. This guy's insane. <laughs> it wasn't me, I swear. It's always you. It is always Travin. Travin is absolutely phenomenal. I really want to, I want to help Nathan. To move forward, I really have to see something that feels like it can't be rewound. Like a death or some other tragedy. It's not enough to hear it or read it. I've, I've got to see it. I suppose from that point of view, it looks like I'm in control of things. Only intense emotion move you forward. To move forward, I really have to see something. Ah. It feels like it can't be rewound. Like a... All right. Rewound. I didn't see the driver. It was my fault. I pulled out. Okay. Can he control his problem? Can you control... I kind of like the fact that um, that I've got the hints. I'm not in control. Doctor, look at me. I'm broken. You need to help me. Mm. That's all for him. Okay. Okay. Nathan is done for now. I think you're reading a bit too much into things. Be careful with that. I think you're reading a ah. bit too much. There's something about the biting that, uh, maybe it's, uh, which of Dr. Decker's Patience. Are mean. That doesn't mean anything to me. Oh, that's the only other form of, like biting I can think of. Lose weight, stop smoking, exercise. <laughs> Something must apply. Um. Have you tried to stop smoking? Yes, the miracle cure that fixes all problems. You sound like a real doctor now. <laughs> Maybe exercise more? God, I can't spell. I don't know about that. Ah. Uh, I guess. Woman, don't tell me to be careful. <laughs> well, I mean, whoever survives has a will to live. Yeah, that's that's very true. Uh, you gotta look back in the room. Okay, uh, Charger enough. Hi guys, now I can hear. What's up, Viridian Prime? It's so good to see you. This is such an interesting and weird game. All right, this lady here is uh, the Angel of Death. I'm Elin. I'm 25 and I'm a nurse. 
God, I sound like I'm on one of those dating shows. Are you looking for love? I'm not really looking for love at the moment. Oh. I'm sort of married to my work, but in a good way. I think she's killing her patience. Um, <laughs> tell me about I've Decker. I've had a lot of doctors over the years. Most of them arrogant idiots who think nurses are just there to do their bidding, or worse. Dr. Decker was different. Ah. How was Dr. Decker different? How was Dr. Decker, not capital D there, different? I've known a lot of doctors over the years. Ah. Most of them arrogant idiots. This game is totally up my alley. It looks like I'm going to go. Dude, all right, so you're a psychiatrist. Dr. Decker was a psychiatrist of these people, he and he was patients. murdered. And you're coming in trying to figure out which one of his patients did it. Had a lot of time. I've been seeing him for about nine months, I think. All right, what's the hint here? Does she enjoy it when her patients die? That's a hard question. Do you enjoy it when your patients... That's kind of a mean way to say it. When your patients suffering ends. I'm going to try to ask it this way first. I don't know. All right. Do you enjoy it when your patients die? No, I don't like it. I feel lucky to share that moment with them, to be there with them when it happens. You know what I mean? No, I don't. Share the moment with them. I feel really bad. I can't answer your questions. Um, I like animals. Let's talk about that. <laughs> oh, oh, that's no, this is not okay. I've known a lot of doctors over the years. Ah, I don't know what I don't know what I'm supposed to ask there. Oh, this is going to end in a nightmare field. Dude, it is, but it, I, I am so excited about this game. Whenever I first saw it on uh, on the PlayStation, I was watching it, and it was like, oh my god. I'm not really looking for love at the moment. I'm sort of... Married to your work. Let's ask about that. Yes, I love my job. I love my patients, even the really crotchety ones, you know? Oh God, you should hear what comes out of their mouths. But they're like my children in a way. That sounds weird, doesn't it? Are you insane? Her patients are like her children. Especially because she's dealing, dealing with end of life care. I don't have any kids. Maybe I will one day, I don't know. At the moment, all my energy is focused on taking care of my patients. I think you're killing your patients. Like seriously, she, this lady here, worries me more than anybody else I've talked to. Her, her, Aline and Mariana are both, Mariana scares me. Like, like she, this girl here, not okay. <laughs> this girl here, pretty sure killing people. Warning, warning, crazy bitch. <laughs> Hey, all right there, Trevin. You try typing on, on, on this keyboard. It folds up. <laughs> I think I'm doing okay. I'm not doing great, but I'm doing okay. Uh... That is frightening, isn't it? Isn't it what everyone's afraid of? The great unknown. 
No one should have to face that alone. Do you often, ah, often fa <laughs> face death with your, God, it wouldn't go faster if I could learn to spell with your patience. I'm really bad at this, aren't I? <laughs> Ask me something else. <sighs> Does she like animals? What? Is your favorite animal? A hey, motherfucker. I love animals, especially cats. Cats? I have a cat. Is either a cat person or a dog person. I prefer dogs, dogs, but I have a cat. Dog person. Dr. Decker was a dog person. Maybe it's a therapist. Oh, I can actually answer too. Oh, that's cool. I was just wanting to see what would happen. Oh, 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 okay. This just got way more interesting. Who are I'm you? Lynn. I'm 25 and I'm a nurse. God, I sound like I'm on my- uh, Okay. Where do you work? I work in a nursing home for the elderly. I basically do end of life care. Mm. Motive. Just ask what we all want to know. Uh, what is it that you all want to know? Ask if she's a murderer. All right, fuck it. Do you kill your patients? It's probably gonna piss her off. They're old. People die when they're old. I mean, medically speaking, it's heart failure or organ failure or pneumonia. They're all natural causes though. Mm. I think she's obsessed with death. Oh, that's a good one there, Phoenix. Are you afraid of death? Motherfucking thing. No, death doesn't scare me. It's probably because I've been around it so much, but I haven't seen anything that's made me feel like it's something to fear. I don't think death is an end. I think it's a doorway to another place. I'm just not sure where. Oh, where she's insane. Go Depends on what kind of... Ah, all right. Heaven. I don't believe in God, so I can't really claim to believe in heaven. Don't believe in God. I don't believe. Okay. What do you think happened? I don't know anything about ah. it. Oh my god, that was her response? I think she's obsessed with that. That was so vague. They basically did it anyway. <laughs> this video would not answer. All she said was, they're going to die anyways. They just pushed them along. you 
want to die. I don't think that I have to be a, a, a very clear with, with that. Uh, oh! Uh, da, 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 da. Helen asked me where do we go when we die? Heaven? Valhalla, maybe? I can think of a dozen half more. <laughs> Was the doctor's doctor's job to be... Wasn't it Dr. Decker's job, not jawed, job, to be interested in your problems? This is such a cool game. Well, yes, that's true. <laughs> but still, it was nice to be listened to. Mm. All right, that, that's... Now, this crazy bitch here stabbed her husband. Keep up, Doctor. David is my husband. Are you still married? since he was cheating and you caught him and stabbed him. We've been married for seven years, but we don't have any children. Thank God. God, do not like this woman. She creeps me the fuck out. The police seem to think I'm dangerous. I'm only sitting here talking to you because I have a lot of money. Otherwise, there's no doubt I'd be thrown into prison for a very long time. That's why I need your help, Doctor. My help, question mark. I need you to believe me. That's why I'm paying for these sessions. Everyone else thinks I'm crazy and dangerous. Everyone else thinks I've lost my mind. I think you've lost your mind. You stabbed your husband. Why can't, ah. Why can't you hire someone to look after him. David's not ready for company. I hope to take you to see him one day and you'll see for yourself. See, I think David's dead. I really do. I think she killed him. Hello, the elusive mad dog. What is up? Yeah, it's probably better. Hold on, let me go here. Ask her what she does believe in. All right. What? Do you believe in? I'd really like to be able to answer you, but I don't know what to say. Ah, that's just the default, hey, you didn't enter in a, a, a question thing. <laughs> hey, everyone. I'm so stressed out with this game. <laughs> Dude, this game is is crazy, but it's, it's such it's such a different pace. We've been married for seven years, but we don't have any children. Thank God. No children. David wanted children, but I didn't. I don't think we would have made very good parents. You stabbed a man, no so... To it. Some people are just not cut out to be parents. I don't think I can see either of us wiping sticky fingers or mending grazed knees. She's not a very loving woman. Does she have any other family? All right. Any other... family? I'm an only child and my parents are both dead. Did you kill them too? Naturally, I inherited everything. <laughs> she keeps talking about her wealth. Um, I need you to believe me. That's why I'm paying for this session. Believe you. They think I'm seeing things, making things up. I don't want to talk about it. Please tell me what you are seeing. 
Sorry, Doctor, I can't answer that. I don't know anything about it. Ah! If you don't know about it, who the hell else would? My husband is not a well man. We've been having problems for a while now. David is not well. His health, if you can call it that, has been deteriorating rapidly in the last few weeks. I can't cope with caring for him anymore. Oh, <laughs> did you kill them too? <laughs> I mean, come on now, Brady. <laughs> I'm not even close to any of these people level of insanity. No, not any of others around you. No, no, no. Like, I don't think any anybody who's watching the stream, what does her wealth mean to her? Ah, that's a good one. What does your wealth mean to you? If I knew anything about that, I'd tell you. Ah, how do you not know anything about that? All right, how exactly does she keep saying it? Um... I'm an only child and my parents are both dead. Naturally, I inherited everything. Inherited everything. Please excuse my horrible spelling game and everybody watching. I don't have anything to say about that. Uh, okay. Did she kill her husband? See, the game thinks she killed him too. Did you kill David? Which is an awkward question to ask. That sounds like a question I shouldn't answer without a lawyer present. May I talk to your husband? God bless. I just asked straight out. I'm obsessed with my husband. It's absurd, really. Why are you obsessed? There's too many yeses. <laughs> Sorry. I don't know. Ah, maybe inherited a gun. How much money does she have? It just keeps saying a lot. Um... <laughs> He's bugging me, the elusive mad dog. Hey, come on. Oh, all right. I have to say, all right, no problem there, Viridian Prime. You have yourself a good time. I have no idea what else to ask this lady. Bryce is weird. Okay, do you prefer a burial? Do you prefer burial? I'm pro cremation. Not just because I don't <clears throat> have to dig a grave. We still need a hole for the interment of ashes. It's more dignified. Like you're becoming one with the universe again. Rotting in a wooden box. Even if you turn completely into atoms, how would you escape? Even bits of the universe get lonely. Ah, oh, just God bless. Do you think your patients are happy? No, sorry, I don't know. Ah. All right. Um. I can't do anything else with him. I still have things I can ask to literally everyone else. But that timer takes forever, and I don't. I don't know what else I'm supposed to ask. Isn't it obvious? I've tried moving them, of course. People are often frozen in the most 
inconvenient of positions. Inconvenient positions. I can't help you there. You can't or won't, Bryce. Fair enough, Doctor. Are you lonely? We're all alone to some extent, don't you think? I mean, I guess so, but... I don't but... have any friends, so I, I suppose that makes me lonely. Why don't you have any friends? In the midnight hour, though, I have as many friends as I like. Do you have a favourite celebrity, Doctor? In the hour, I could take a picture of myself with them. Like, we're the best of friends. Do I have a fa favorite celebrity? Uh, not really. Yo, Chris, Chris, whoa, sorry. <laughs> oh, Chris, I don't know. <laughs> to be fair, uh, chat has been blowing up. Yeah, it's been moving pretty good here. I'm actually, uh, I'm actually pretty pleased. Detroit Dubs is in the house. Thank you so much for those 100 bits, Dubsy. Very happy to see you drop it in there, sir. Um, why don't you have... Ah! Why don't you have friends? I have no knowledge of that. Is it because you're crazy? What's wrong with him now? What is wrong with you now? Apparently I've gone a little mad. For me, I have 25 hour days. He likes like he gets so excited when he talks about his extra hour. We're all alone to some extent, don't you think? I don't have any friends, so I, I suppose that makes me lonely. In the midnight hour. Would you like friends? That doesn't mean anything to me. Mm. They really should have had gamers asking questions. Um, Moved them. Sorry, I don't know anything about that. Shit. Well, Phoenix, I messaged you. <laughs> All right. At least we figured out everything for Nathan. He's good. All right. Oh, God, I still have no idea. I think you're reading a bit. There's another question there. I, I just don't know what it is. And that's probably the last question, too. I want to stop having the blackouts. I want to stop waking up at the beach. I want to remember those entire evenings. Can you suggest anything that might help? Maybe you should stop dancing, at least for a while. If that's what you want, I'll stop clubbing for a while. It's no big Hey, all right. There we go. Hey, okay, okay. See, look, Nathan Dunn, Mariana. Oh, she's still got one, damn it. <laughs> Fuck, I thought we were done. Okay. Do you know the other patients? If I could spell right. Patients. That's not really helping with my blackouts. Again, what's wrong with waking up the beef? She's already there all the time and she likes it. She's waking up naked, Pixel, a pixelated smile. Um. And then the police are going to arrest her. Uh, 
Uh... I black out. And then the next thing I remember, I'm naked on the beach. Like I've been washed up on shore. Nobody's pressed charges yet, but I can feel it. The police are getting suspicious. Do you like to skinny dip? No, I don't know about that. <laughs> uh, why should I be careful about reading too much into things? Why should I be careful about reading into things? It's just, when you open Pandora's box, you can't unsee it. If I knew where Pandora's box, I would open that bitch and be like, what's up? All right, we're done with her finally. Three more guys, three more, okay. Yes, that's true. <laughs> Do your patients listen to you? <clears throat> I haven't really thought about it. <laughs> My patients listen to me. <clears throat> but then I suppose they haven't got much choice. Mmm. No, death doesn't scare me. It's probably because I've been around it so much, but I haven't seen anything that's made me feel like it's something to... Been around death so much. I haven't really got anything to say about that. Maybe we should talk about you. What would you like to know? I don't know. I feel like I'm the weakest link or something. Was that an actual? Okay, no it wasn't. Well, she's got a uh, freaking Kraken on her chest. <laughs> That is very true. Maybe she believes in Valhalla. Do you believe in an afterlife? When someone says afterlife, it just makes me think of wispy figures floating around in a white haze. Like you get in those new age posters. I don't really go for all that. There's something about her voice that really that bothers me. Um, where's the next little green star? I'm Ooh. Elin. I'm 25 and I'm a nurse. God, I sound like I'm on one of those dating shows. What the hell am I supposed to get out of that? She's trying to create zombies. What is she scared of? What does scare you? I haven't really got anything to say about that. Maybe we should talk about you. It's the way she leans across the table there. All right, so she's not afraid of death. No, death does There's gotta be, there's another question no, here. Death doesn't scare me. It's probably because I've been around it so much, but I haven't seen anything that's made me feel like it's something to fear. I don't think death is an end. I think it's a doorway to another place. I'm just not... Doorway to... another place. <laughs> I swear I'm not this bad at spelling. I don't know anything about that. Ah, shit. She's trying to create zombies. I think she's got a thing for you, Kajaro. Yeah, maybe. Aye, that's a good one. Do you believe, if I can type, believe in 
reincarnation. I've never really got the idea of reincarnation. I mean, are you still you? Do you know you're still you? And if not, how does that even work? Hmm. That's... So what do you... <sighs> <laughs> what do you think happens when you die? No, sorry, I don't know. Ah. All right. I think I'm seeing things, making things up. What do they think you are seeing? I don't know anything about that, Doctor. Oh, okay. What is your job? I don't work. I don't need to. Everything's paid for a hundred times over. Ciao. Sure, Kajaro. Why call herself a nurse? <laughs> Cause she's a nurse. <laughs> oh. Isn't it obvious? I've tried moving them, of course. People are often frozen in the most... What's a celebrity name? Um... Uh... Da, 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 da. Morgan Freeman. <laughs> That's meaningless to me. Alright, well, you asked who my favorite celebrity was. That's the first one that popped into my head. Isn't it obvious? I've tried moving them, of course. People are often frozen in the most inconvenient of positions. Mm. People are frozen. In the hour, people are pliable. They don't move, but I can move them. As soon as my hour is up, they start moving again. As if nothing has changed at all. God, this guy is fucking weird. Do you like photography? Do you like photography? I've taken a lot of pictures. I have great shots of all the tourist sites. It's amazing what exposure you can use when moving cars are literally frozen still. Must be the sharp focus. Can I see these pictures? I've taken a lot of pictures. I have great shots. Ah. All right. Oh, why do things freeze? Uh, that I think is answered in, um, This. At midnight each day, time as you know it freezes. In my world, it just slows down to almost a stop. But I don't. I'm free to wander around and do as I please. An hour later, normal reality continues. It's my very own midnight hour. So, do as you please. In the extra hour, I mainly catch up with work. It's a godsend. Sometimes I play chess against myself. It relaxes. Hell, its like bodies are frozen in the morgue. Hmm. All right, let's go back to Elin here. That's an unusual name. Owner is from. Okay. Where is your 
name from? Apparently it's a Welsh name. I'm not Welsh. My mum's into all that new age stuff and I think she thought it would make me seem more interesting. I don't know what Welsh has to do with being new age, but... New age. New She's age. mentioned it a few times. Like auras and healing energy, crystals and all that. Oh, it's not really my thing. Interesting. Well, like the bodies are frozen in the water. Oh, because at one point he said the bodies are frozen in inconvenient ways. Uh, yeah, that's whenever, that's during his extra, um, his extra hour that people are pliable and he can move them around. Um, so time stands still, at least that's what he thinks. Dr. Decker would say one thing and do another. He would push me to do things I didn't want to do. He was getting worse towards the end. I'm surprised he did Worse towards the end. Worse towards uh, the end? I don't have anything for you. Ah. All right. Why would he need to move people in the midnight hour? That's a good question. Why would you need to move people? I do a lot of work in my extra hour. I move people into graves. Price is done. That's creepy. All right, so I just have Aline and Claire left. For, for this section. Uh, and this is just the first section, which is, it, this game is gonna be so fucking cool. No, death doesn't scare me. What, I already asked that, what scares you? Um, mm, I don't, is there anything else that's lit up or is it just that one now? Okay, so we're probably on the last question for her. No, death doesn't scare me. It's probably because I've been around it so much, but I haven't seen anything that's made me feel like it's something to fear. I don't think death is an end. I think it's a doorway to another place. I'm just not sure where. Where do you think we go when we die, Doctor? All right, so I guess do you believe in Valhalla? <laughs> Do you believe in Valhalla? I don't really know what that is. Uh, something to do with Vikings, isn't it? Yes, it's just... I don't really know what that is. Uh, something to do with Vikings, isn't it? Can I answer yes? I don't know. You are the weakest link. Goodbye. <laughs> Wait, who's the person who's making him do things? That was the other doctor that died. Um, Dr. Decker was making Bryce try to do things during his midnight hour that he didn't want to do. And Dr. Decker is dead, and that's the whole reason I'm talking to all of these other freaking people. I don't really know what that is. Uh, something to do with Vikings, isn't it? Yes, but... Oh... Shit. <laughs> I'm having to wait because I can't think of anything else. Maybe she thinks we go nowhere when we die? Do you think... We go nowhere. When we die. 
If you put a space in nowhere, it becomes now here. Well, that's bleak, but I don't believe it. I'm an only child and my parents are both dead. How'd your parents die? How, ho, ho, how did your parents die? It was an accident. But I don't feel like talking about it at the moment. Okay, that got rid of the any other family. It was a brief moment of temporary insanity. Or temporary clarity, I'm not really sure which. David had been having an affair with his assistant optician, Iris. All right, can you tell me more about Iris? Iris was David's assistant optician. Not anymore. No, not like that. I didn't kill her or anything. <laughs> it's just that I changed the optician into a florist after David died. Optometry was his dream, not mine. I heard her say it. I didn't see it written there. Keep up, Doctor. No, 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 no. Iris was David's assistant optician. Not anymore. No, not like that. I didn't kill her or anything. <laughs> it's just that I changed the optician into florist after what happened with David. Optometry was his dream, not mine. That's not... That's not what I heard the first time! That's not what I heard. Is that what it said the first time? Because I swear I heard her say that David died. Yeah, that's what I, that's, you read my mind there, Phoenix. I know she stabbed him, but... Keep up, Doctor. David is my husband. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So she stabbed her husband because he was cheating on her. Being rich has its perks, but honestly, I would give it all up in a heartbeat if it could free me from this madness. What madness? I'm in a bit of a predicament, Doctor. Madness? I'll get to that. This is Sparta! <laughs> uh, does she know who murdered Dr. Decker? Do you know who killed Decker? I don't understand what you're getting at, Doctor. Please be more specific. Are you... Oh, okay. She's going to take a little bit. Uh, let's go back to Aline here because I've only got two more for her. Two more. And I don't understand what they have related. Are you afraid of death? She no, isn't. Death doesn't scare me. She's been around it too much. And the other one is... I don't really know what that is. Uh, something to do with Vikings, isn't it? Place of Honored Dead. That is what Valhalla is. I'm really bad at this, aren't I? <laughs> Who killed else. your therapist, woman? <laughs> what is her dream? Oh, okay, okay, okay. Okay. What is your dream? No, that doesn't mean anything. Or is that the other lady? I'm sorry. What is your dream? Sorry. No. Fuck me. Okay. Does David work? That's a good question. I could have sworn I heard her say David died. Does David work? 
This David does, but I don't know about her David. David doesn't work, no. He's not very communicative anymore, so a job is out of the question. He used to Calm be down, to Siri. Now he just spends all his time at the lake house, frittering his time away. David's staying at the lake house. It belongs to my parents, but I don't use it much anymore. I have the main house to myself. Main house. David's staying at the lake house. David doesn't work, no. He's not very communicative anymore, so a job is out of the question. He used to be an optician. Now he just spends all his time at the lake house. Good God, I really... I work. I'm at work. Changing my name to Battle David. <laughs> ah, shit. <laughs> All right, what else? Shall I tell her Valhalla is from Norse mythology? Uh, yeah. All right, why not? Valhalla is from Norse. Mythology. Oh, well, there you go. You learn something new every day. But I mean, I answered, I, I answered that with yes earlier. Okay, so the only thing I have left is, are you afraid of death? I don't know what I'm supposed to pull out of that sentence. I've listened to it like a hundred damn times of her thing. Claire, on the other hand. It doesn't work, no. He's not. How do you spell optrician? Optrician? I don't have an answer to that. Yeah, I probably spelled that it wrong. It doesn't work, no. He's not very communicative anymore, <clears throat> so a job is out of the question. He used to be an optician. Now I just spend. Why is he not. Uh, communicating anymore. I'm going to have to plead ignorance on that one. God bless. Optometrist? Oh, never mind. <laughs> Why is he not commutative? Yeah, I just tried that. I just tried that. Ah! You don't believe in heaven, but do you believe in hell eternal punishment hell isn't real whoever came up with that idea has a lot to answer for do they now god I, I hate this woman i hate her all i get is are you afraid of death and she says no and, and i wish that the 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 hints reset for everyone Within 30 days, though, I'm at uh, 2050. Yeah, nice. Our 1250. We can get you there. Just had to keep your average above three. Yeah, uh, Pixelate Smile, we definitely want to help you out anytime that we can. Um, if, if you uh, can tell me a couple days where you are actually streaming, like uh, regularly or at least somewhat of a schedule, I'll be happy to try to get you a raid or, or to raid you myself to get the, that number up and to, and to get some people interested more in your no, channel. that death doesn't scare me. I had a good time it's when I was hanging out with you guys before. So much, but I'm going in, man. I haven't man. seen anything that's made <laughs> me feel like it's something to fear. I don't think death is an end. I think it... Death isn't an end. I'd really like to be able to answer. Ah, you awful, awful. Oh, well. Do you think we go to purgatory, which is a Catholic thing? I thought I was stuck in purgatory once, but then I realized I was just watching a really, really bad film. <laughs> <laughs> Terrible jokes. <laughs> 
Oh, we've got to be at the. We got to be close to the to the last one for her then. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Why does David not talk? Keep up, Doctor. I know who he is. That's why I'm asking you about him. My husband is not a well man. We've been having problems for a while now. What other problems besides him cheating? I should have divorced him. I wish I had. Ah, ah! So much could have been avoided. <laughs> I really want to finish up Eileen because she's only got one left. It's like, how, how hard could it be? Do you think we become one with the universe? I have no idea how specific I have to be with these Maybe. questions. Maybe we go somewhere completely beyond what we can imagine. Like heaven? We're only humans after <laughs> all. We can't possibly comprehend what's really out there. But you don't believe in God, don't believe in heaven. Okay, she's done. All we have left is Claire, who I'm pretty sure killed her husband. Is David okay? Keep up, Doctor. That's really annoying. It was a brief moment of temporary insanity. Or temporary clarity, I'm not really sure which. David had been having an affair with his assistant optician, Iris. Let me just ask about the affair. Iris was David's assistant optician. Not anymore. I'm sure today after Kajaro was done? Ah, no, like okay. That. I didn't kill her or anything. <laughs> it's just that... I changed the optician into florist after what happened with David. Optometry was his dream, not mine. I don't know. Mm. What would have been avoided? Eh, that's a fair question. What would have been avoided? Our altercation. You stabbing him? Our altercation. Downfall. This is exhausting, Doctor. I'm not used to spitting everything out in one session. That's why I'm a better doctor than Dr. Decker. <laughs> I should have divorced him. I wish I had. So much could have been avoided. Divorce is such an imperfect means to separate two people, don't you think? I suppose I don't really mean it. I thought he was my soulmate and that I would do anything for him. That's a weakness that has caused me problems. Okay, I think I am figuring this out a bit. I'm going to have to plead ignorance. Or not. I am actually making progress, though. I don't understand. Uh... I think I'm seeing things, making things up. Making things up. Yes. Dr. Dacker did think I was delusional when he first met me. Ah, aha! He changed his mind after getting to know me better, as I hope he will too. My mind right now is that you killed your husband. Does she consider herself sane? Do you think you are sane? Insane in the membrane! Who's to say who is sane or insane? Me, the, the guy with the doctor pad. Mind.
All right, I think I've got it down to where, okay, there's two, two. The most shocking thing about Dr. Decker's death is that he didn't bring it upon himself. But then I hadn't known him for a very long time. Bring it upon himself. Dr. Decker just had that look about him. You know what they say about us crazies. Takes one to know one. Was Decker crazy? They think I'm seeing things, making things up. She makes stuff up? Maybe her husband wasn't having an affair. Ooh, that's an interesting thought. I tried to hurt David once. That's why I'm here, isn't it? I'm not proud of my behavior, but I was very angry. It was a private matter, though. The police should never have been involved. You stabbed a man. How does David fritter his time away? How does David spend his time? Because I refuse to type the word fritter. Keep up, Doctor. Oh, I want to have to. Fritter his time away. He abhors technology. He abhors technology. And then creates huge, unwielding fires that I'm sure will be the death of him and the lake house at some point. <laughs> He hunts things and then makes giant fires. Nice. All right, so the only thing left is about Decker. The most Decker. shocking thing about Dr. Decker's death is that he didn't bring it upon himself. But then I hadn't known him for a very long time. Perhaps I was wrong about him. Though the fact that he drank so much is a good... How were you wrong about Decker? The most shocking thing about Dr. Decker's death ah. is that he didn't bring it upon himself. Oh shit, we're on to something. Known him for a very long time. Oh wait, if she so was having the affair. Well, the fact that he drank so much. The old projecting blame bit, that old chestnut. Hey, yeah, that's a good point. She cares more about the lake house than him. Yeah, yeah, she totally does. How well did she know Dr. Decker? Is that, that's like what I asked pretty much. How well did you know Dr. Dick, fuck. I didn't really know Dr. Decker that well. I never met him outside of our sessions, and we spent those discussing my therapy, not making small talk. Small talk, or would you want to have met him outside? If I knew anything about that, Would you want to meet him elsewhere? I don't know anything about. Yeah, I don't know how I don't know how to phrase that. Um, if Decker didn't bring it on himself, what brought it on him? Yeah, she totally cares more for the lake house than she does her her her. Uh, her husband. Uh, should follow this up. Annotation idea. Yeah, look, I figured that part out. It's I don't I don't know what I'm supposed to ask. We've we have we have actually guessed a right of lo a lot of right ones. So, how many sessions does she have with Doctor Decker? How many? Times did you meet with Dr. Decker? The most shocking thing about. Oh, uh, I don't know how I did that. Okay. How many sessions did you have with? Dr. Decker. 
I've been seeing him for about three months. Three months. Okay, so I had to use the word sessions. Okay, there's something else the here. The thing about Dr. Decker's death is that it didn't bring it upon itself. You misspelled with. I then, know, I Phoenix! Really you tried typing on that so tiny well. keyboard. Well, the it's fact tiny. that he drank so much is a good indicator of his mental state. His mental state? I don't have an answer to that. Ah. Uh, all right, we can almost ask for the final hint. I think that that will be the final hint for section one here. Does she know? Do you know who killed Dr. Decker? Not Deller, <laughs> KK. I don't know who killed Dr. Decker, but I imagine that in his line of work, he met a lot of unstable people. Perhaps he pushed someone too far. Hmm. That's talking about Bryce. He kept pushing Bryce. Okay, that's uh, that's everything for here. Everybody's green. Green means done, right? That's that. That is the assumption I've been going on. <laughs> Goodbye. Is that something I should know about? Uh, there might be something behind my head up there. There are currently no questions available. What am I supposed to do then? Let me flip that. Give me one second here, everybody. Because that's my only thought is that it's got something there behind me where I can't see it. Uh, the big pad button. Oh! Oh! Oh, Doctor. Glad I caught you. I thought you might... Hello, my random what assistant. Ben had to say. Quick catch up? Sure! Tell me about what Ben had to say. Jaya? Uh, how old do you know, Dr. Decker? say we were best friends, but we did spend a lot of time together. There's only two of us that work here. I'm sure we'll become friends too, Doctor. Just try not to get murdered. That was a little creepy as fuck, Jaya. I wouldn't say we were best friends. Uh, I'm not about ben. sure Ben will be coming in for a while. He's still pretty shook up about finding the body. I'm surprised it doesn't happen more often in the line of work he's in. Anyway, he said what does he ben found do? the body at exactly 20 minutes past 10. For some reason, the first thing he did was his watch. Past 10. That's all he'd say before he'd shut down. The police weren't very talkative either. Where'd he go? <laughs> Well, all right, guys, uh, Pixelated Smile, if you would like to go ahead and uh, get your your stream um, going, I will uh, raid you here in just a second, because it's about time for me to, to end here in a minute. What is Ben's job? Sorry, that doesn't mean anything to me. You bitch. Chaya is the only one I can talk to. Uh, you mentioned the police. Police wanted to know what I was doing Valentine's night. You know, when the body was found. Did I you was push? at home. All on my lonesome. So I guess that makes me a suspect. Mm. Who is Ben? Sorry. Didn't you know? Ben's one of the night shift cleaners. I'm sure he's got some tales he could tell. <laughs> Who else is a suspect? The police want you to make a short list of suspects, or maybe even find the killer. You're seeing all the patients that were on the books when he was killed. There was no false entry, so they think it might be someone he knew, or someone who had access to the office. 
Yeah, like little old me. Little old me. Oh man, it's almost pixel suspect. time. That is right. Uh, no, I really don't. Um... Sorry, I don't have a clue. All right. Sometimes I can answer. Sometimes I can't. Uh... Yes. Ben found Dr. Decker's body on Valentine's night in his office. In your in office. office. Well, thank you. It's good to know. Tell me about yes, Valentine's Night. You know, the 14th of February. Oh the shit, I had no night. idea. Or remembering a massacre. <laughs> I don't like this lady. She's kind of a bitch. Uh, da, 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 was killed on Valentine's Night. I should ask for the, uh, the patients were that day. That's a good thing. Uh, no, you're not a suspect. You barely know me. I'm flattered. You're a bitch, they but I don't think you're a murderer. I needed grief counseling, though, and I said you'd sort me out. I know you haven't agreed, but just so you know, it's very kind of you. I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> well, thank you so much for just signing me up for that. I don't know exactly, but a stabbing of some kind. Oh, a stabbing? The autopsy through at some point. No, it's trying to make you think that it's everybody. Somebody was pushed too far. It was a stabbing. Uh, somebody that he was in love with, which I think he was dating the, uh, the, the lady who wakes up naked. Oh, why would anyone want to kill Dr. Decker? Stabbed, so that's quite a personal thing to do. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if it Little was Little known, uh, all bitches are murderers. <laughs> Little known fact. She wants to see you tonight. Nah, Travin, tonight she said we're at your place. You think a patient killed Dr. Decker? Did Dr. Decker have I wasn't any enemies? He's really in his social circle, so I don't know if he had any friends. In terms of enemies, I heard things get heated in his office sometimes, but I won't name any names. <laughs> Oh, I do like this style of game. This is... Maybe you should Susan, name names. Annabelle. Melissa. I, I know I know Annabelle, but, but I don't know Susan or Melissa. I'm just surmising. If you're unhappy enough to kill your therapist, they're probably not doing a very good job. <laughs> Damn! Were there any clues left at the crime scene? Myself, so I don't know. But I heard it was a bit of a mess with all the blood and everything. What do they have people who clean How up? How did you come across this game, Control? Those, I was just searching play, around. Uh, I was okay. just searching around on the PlayStation Store That's for interesting fair. games to play. And I just happened happened across uh, this one. And whenever I found it, I was like, oh my god. Because I watched the, like, the little intro clip. And the intro clip looks so interesting. I was like, I have to play this on stream. Why is it a new chair? Because he died in the old All one. All I know is the police took his chair. Forensics, I suppose. He was stabbed to death in his old chair. Perhaps you should ask someone else a question. She's the only person I've got available. Decker was killed one of things. Uh... Hmm. Should you be a suspect? I think the police. Did you like Dr. Decker? I wouldn't say we were best friends, but- Ah. Why was Dr. Decker working late? Why was Decker working? Late. I don't know what Dr. Decker was doing here, and my services weren't required that evening. What he are your services? Late, though, so it wasn't that unusual. Oh, no, now she's uh, that. So, all right, guys, before we head to the next day, uh, we are going to uh, exit to the main menu. We're going to start on the next day here next time. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. Again, uh, Pixel, if you are ready to get started, we will uh, go over there and send people to your channel.
So, if somebody can take a look over there and let me know if she's going. Let me take a quick check in here. Oh, she's hosting me currently. I just saw your comment. Wouldn't be the craziest bitch I dated. <laughs> Traffic is gonna be like that, huh? Oh, that's hilarious. Alright, I'm not sure where, where Pixel went, so give me a second here, guys. I'm gonna find us somebody to go and uh, raid. Pixel, I'm sorry. We'll have to uh, we'll have to get you next time because I, I I'm not sure where you are. Um I see Afro Duckling is streaming. So Stallion and I just kind of want to raid a, a, a smaller streamer. Areem is also streaming. Let's go over there and uh, give him some. <laughs> is that going into Travis' knowledge? It may, maybe it ought to. All right, guys, again, I want to thank you all for being here and hanging out with me today. I appreciate it so very much. Hopefully you guys were as entertained by this as I have been. And as always, I want to remind you that you matter and you have what it takes. I will be back tomorrow, and I'll catch you guys then. I don't know if we're going to be playing more of this or I want to switch back to, like, um, probably Subnautica. But uh, I definitely am going to play the rest of this game on stream because this game is absolutely phenomenal. I'm having such a good time with it. All right, I'll catch you guys next time. Bye.